What's up boys? Back with some more Pathfinder Gallowspire Survivors. Today I'm going to be doing a triple element full storm wizard. We've got mostly maxed out stats here. Don't quite have strength for the armor maxed yet or dex, but it's fine. I have quite a few talent points now. I'm probably not going to take the upgraded talents for electricity mastery or fire mastery, but the base effects are pretty useful. So let's jump in to the lower crypt hyper mode. And I'm looking for Falling Star, Ice Storm, and Sudden Bolt mainly to create a bunch of stuff falling from the sky all around me constantly. We've got all three of them here. I think I'll grab Sudden Bolt first for some stuns. Grab Fireball on the Rogue here for some big damage on him. Legendary chest already. That should give some nice projectiles to Sudden Bolt, hopefully. So, four levels on that. Wow. Four legendary levels. So, for the rogue here... I could get him a little bit of extra XP. I don't know if that's super useful. Uh, Lucky, maybe. I don't know how many kills he's going to be getting, but it could help a bit. Over here, I would take spell combination out of these. I'm eventually going to grab the force missile spell since it has a very low cooldown. To trigger a lot of free spells, I guess lucky or maybe just reroll and see if there's anything better here. Howling Blizzard's fine for some AoE on him. Falling Star is another skill I want here. And then I also want Force Barrage. I believe it has the lowest base cooldown of any of these spells, so it's good for triggering your other stuff with Quicken Casting. Also has some pretty good single target damage to help with bosses and stuff. I guess the Sudden Bolt's here. That's gotta be close to maxed. I guess I'll just take that. It's a little bit overkill. I don't need any of these. I could just grab the spell combo. A lot of levels there, not bad. Ice Storm is something I need, and now I have all four of the attack spells that I wanted. Bit more Ice Storm. Enchanted Shots is very good damage for him on the Fireball. Bits more Falling Star. Bits more Ice Storm. Let's see if I can get some more stuff for him. He doesn't have that much unlocked yet. Eldritch Master is good. That'll apply to all of his spells. Chest up here somewhere. Bits more Falling Star. Use the haste pot to get up here a bit faster. I kind of like the freeze time based stuff. So you can use the ultimate more often and it does a lot more damage during that. And it'll look really silly once the build is fully online. Improved critical is pretty nice for him. I have all of these. I could look for a higher rarity. Ice Storm or Falling Star. Bits more Falling Star. Big chest here. 
Man, those are some huge chests this run. Freeze time charges faster, and there we go. Pretty low on the passive so far, though. I could grab critical riposte on him. It's kind of hard to max out all of the passives that you want on your companion. Grab some more falling star. Bits more falling star, 94. If I get a higher rarity, I could push that a lot higher. Maybe I'll wait a bit on that and see if that's possible. See if I can grab one more before it ends. Bit of XP for the companion. Don't think I care about any of that. Treasure Hunter, maybe, to help him get some more chests for us. Or I guess that's the rarity upgrade for it, which I think only applies to him. Maybe he'll max out a bit faster and get me some more gold. Got a haste pot to get down here a bit faster. Probably ice storm. So I guess a chest max that out. Grab reach spell to make them look even sillier. Probably look for higher rarity here. Ice storm. Got a chest from that guy. More ice storm. Try for some higher rarity ice storm. That's getting pretty close to max now. Grab some improved critical for this guy. That guy just got deleted when a bunch of meteors fell on him at the same time. Go for some higher rarity, higher rarity. Um, that will max it out. Probably some higher rarity. Grab a bit of force barrage now. Some reach spell to make those really big. Bit more reach spell. I'm looking for a percent HP passive to increase my survivability a bit as well. I forget what the sixth one is though. Grab some more reach spell. Frostbite is another spell for him to go with the Eldritch stuff. Go ahead and pop Freeze Time to blast this guy down. Grab some Force Barrage. Bit more Reach Spell. Nuke that guy with Freeze Time. Some more Reach Spell. Alright, that actually took a long time because of how long it lasts now. Oops. A 
bit more reach. Reach. I still missing some passives here. And I'm somehow not getting any of them. Bit of actually lightning bolt C fourth spell for him, that's good to have. Time mastery. I'm looking for HP. I don't think that's gonna do very much with how often I'm hitting. It just keeps overriding itself. So I guess I'll just grab the armor thing, which I have passed on a couple times for some survivability. I guess that would be the sixth one. So there we go, HP finally. Yeah, you can see his rarity sometimes gets upgraded from Treasure Hunter, I think it was, but it only applies to him. Grab some Eldritch Master, probably, for him. That applies to all of his attacks. Additional 10%, cooldown of shield recharges 65% faster. That only triggers one time, though, so... The maximum value from that's pretty low. Grab the armor. Doesn't seem like there's anything else that I want more than that. And every once in a while I get hit one time for like 25% of my HP. bit more HP. The percent HP actually increases how much you get healed as well since the healing potions are a percentage of your health. more armor to go with all of that HP. Use my ultimate to blast that guy real quick. Oh god, I can't see anything. Bit more armor, almost completely maxed now. Looks like I'm maxed now, yup. Got a little bit extra on some of the attacks also. I'm just gonna ult instantly here to phase him. 
That seems like it's going to be complete overkill, though, but oh well. Overkill is the best type of kill. Those are so hard to avoid on Hyper. Good thing Wizard has shield blocking most of them. That guy spawned right on top of me. I can probably just pop this and then blast him instantly. Try and aim all the missiles directly at him and there we go. Bunch more free collectibles. Bit more gold. So, Force Barrage is somehow that much higher than everything else. Wow. Crazy. I didn't even have the full points on the Force Barrage passive either. But then, Fireball on the Companion is even higher. We rolled that into some type of point. Put some more points into strength for armor. Don't really have enough there. I can grab a couple upgrades here maybe. That's really expensive. Everything is insanely expensive here. trying to find some of the cheap stuff that isn't that high level yet. 17,000. Block value is, I think, warrior only. It's kind of a weird card. Everything is so expensive. Okay, so this time I'll try with the rogue as my main character and the wizard as a companion. And I'm going to grab the movement speed on my rogue so I can run around and grab all the shrines and get all the levels for my wizard as the companion. Let's see if I can make him as silly as possible even as a companion. So probably force barrage out of those. The rogue also has passive movement speed on top of that. Probably reroll this. Don't think I want any of those. I would like to have toughness, but I'm gonna need some more damage here first. Whee! Fireball, lightning bolts. Grab some ice storm on him. Rogue here, grab some treasure hunter. It's actually hard to control on hyper mode with the speed pot there. Uh, grab howling blizzard here, that will get all of my attacks in. Health, I will probably need some survivability with how hard it's gonna get to control later on. Grab some spell combo for him. Actually, reach spell first, I guess. Make them hit more often. Bit of fireball here. See if we can get some higher rarity or something more useful. Eldritch Master is great.
grab some falling star. Reroll that. Nope. Nope. Pretty bad rerolls on the rogue. Still missing three with all of them gone. Grab some more falling star here. Bit more fireball. Enchanted shots to make the fireball do more damage every time it pierces an enemy and it explodes. Grab some more fireball. Okay, that's actually insanely fast and I don't even have the move speed passive yet. Pop my ultimate to burst that guy down. Don't really need any of those. I could re-roll here. Sudden bolt. This is me, so improved critical. And then movement speed. I'd be missing a chest passive. Eh, it's probably fine. Bits more treasure hunter. Nothing great here. Probably some howling lizard. Treasure hunter. Get the greedy stuff early on. Bit of sudden bolt for him. Bits more fireball. So that would be very good, but I want to get the movement speed just to move around as fast as possible. I don't have that yet. I probably should have dropped a damage passive to get that as well, but oh well. Grab the Eldritch Master, that applies to everything. I don't think my haste potions are even fully maxed out yet either. It takes so much gold to max everything in this game. Grab some enchanted shots. Bit of falling star for him. I can't see anything on the map right now. There's a shrine. Some uh, howling blizzard. Bit of sudden bolt for him. I can't move. Grab some more Falling Star for him, plus two projectiles there. Bit more Howling Blizzard probably, I think that's the second best spell. More Sudden Bolts. Probably Howling Blizzard. I still don't think I've seen the movement thing a single time. Jeez. I definitely have it unlocked. 
So, Howling Blizzard. Grab some more enchanted shots for the global damage increase. Get some. Wow, this guy only has one passive. That would max it out, but it would be a little bit overkill. As in, I wouldn't really be able to get it that far over 100%, I mean. I guess I'll just take Mountain Resilience, give him a bit of survivability. Doesn't seem like he's going to get all of his passives on this run. Enchanted Shots. that chest is pretty close by. I thought the XP shrine would be easier to get there. Where's my movement speed, man? That's like the whole reason I went rogue here. There we go, finally. Pop ultimate to help kill that guy and get some survivability. Looks like two legendary chests there, wow. Grab some Eldritch Master, enchanted shots, movement speed. Enchanted shots. Eldritch Master. bit more Sudden Bolt, I think. Actually, yeah, probably Sudden Bolt. More movement speed. Whee! More enchanted shots, I think. Chest over there. I'm so fast! Sudden bolts. I probably should have dropped proved critical to get the other chest thing for this run. I think Eldritch Master and Enchanted Shots are way too good to pass up since they affect everything and then crit just affects some of your hits, but it does make it a bit more consistent. Whee! Like a screen away after the chest is already opens. More fleets. More sudden bolts. That gets that heavily overcapped. Can I see him here? 114, 117. Chest over here somewhere. More movement speed. These are pretty bad on him. I'm going to see if I can get some more useful stuff for the passives. Spell combo is good. More Eldritch Master. More 
Eldritch faster. More movement speed. More movement speed. More movement speed. I'm over a screen away after it opens. More movement speed. Probably look for some more useful stuff for this dude. Eh. Eh. It's like almost the same stuff. I guess take a purple spell combo. You'll never catch me! These are really bad, I guess I can take that. I'm not exactly sure which enemies are even considered armored. There's not really much information on that. I can't control my character with the speed bot up. Grab, I guess that? These are pretty bad on the companion. Almost at the boss now, so I want to save my potions for that. I guess I'll take a level in that. Bit more overwhelming. Even with all that movement speed, I couldn't get over there. Insta phase him with some fireball crits. I'm gonna see if I can run in like one direction, if that will allow me to avoid all the meteors. Since they kind of have to spawn somewhat close to me, maybe if I move fast enough, they won't really spawn near me. But it doesn't really seem like that's working dash out of those guys, yeah. They're kind of still hitting me. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my potion there. Meteors are so fast on Hyper, man. I dashed out of that one, but it kind of put me into the wall there. Go ahead and pop that and blast him with this speed pot up there. So, Fireball doing an insane amount compared to everything else combined. Companion only had five passives, although I got the movement speed purely to try and get him as many levels as possible. Force Barrage still the best there. Some okay on Ice Storm and Falling Star. Rerolled those into whatever gives points. I kind of don't like that one since it 
can really only be completed on the second map with the triple bosses. Kind of annoying. Got some more points for Wisdom to lower his cooldowns a bit. And then after that would be Charisma to increase the AoE. Talents, anything I want there. Could get a bit more dodge for survivability, that's not bad. 62% chance to avoid anything. It's actually a lot of survivability there. I might want to pump my potions up since that stuff's getting really expensive. Do have the blue one maxed. Cooldown 1% is kind of low. Might just grab some more healing. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.